Hello! My name is Mars, and today I will be playing Elsinore. This is an adventure game where you play as a character from Shakespeare's Hamlet who is stuck in a time loop and must find a way to prevent the tragedy of Hamlet from coming to pass. Uh, that's in the simplest terms. It's a little bit more complicated than that, but that's the basic premise of this game. Um, this is another replay, one I'm very excited for because I have a lot of games I consider favorites. About 15 top favorite games in a sort of nebulous order. Um, but my top three are set in stone. My third favorite game is Hades. My first favorite game is Celeste. And my second favorite game is this one right here. I just absolutely adore it. I love kind of nerdy, strange premises like this. And I know this game won't be for everyone. I'm sure like the very premise turned a lot of people away, but I just love this game to bits. And I'm always very disappointed to find how few Let's Plays there are of it on YouTube. So I just want to rectify that here. I'm thrilled to get back into it. Uh, first things first, I want to just turn the audio down a little bit just in case. Yeah. Um, anyway, let's, let's just jump into it. Ophelia! Ophelia! There you are, love. And as usual, doesn't even give me so much as a hello, father. Hello, father. That's better. And what are you doing all the way out here? I wanted to be alone a while. It's quiet here. I see. Avoiding me, more like. Well, I have a small favor to ask of you. Your brother's in the throne room visiting the king about his voyage, but his majesty tends to run over long. Won't you fetch Laertes for me? Tell him he's tardy. As usual, his trunks are sitting in his chambers, open and empty. At this rate, he'll go to Paris with nothing but the clothes on his back. Oh. That would come as no surprise to either of us. Of course not. Much as I try, I cannot help but think of how terribly I'll miss him. And with all that's going on here in Denmark, war brewing and such, I think my hair has gotten a little whiter even as we stand here. The nerves are taking quite a toll on me. Father. Father, go and have a stroll. Breathe. I'll fetch Laertes. Right this is why you're my favorite daughter only daughter and that is well Ophelia acquires the information father's request Ophelia learns more about find Laertes the entry will be updated in the journal Ophelia learns more about Ophelia and Polonius their character bios will be updated in the journal all right this is my journal Leads tab, document actions you've completed in the past, as well as hints about some mysteries you might uncover. My father is worried about Laertes' upcoming trip and wants to talk to my brother before he goes. And of course, it falls on me to get him. Where on earth could he be? Your characters tab contains information about characters you've encountered in Elsinore Castle. Your hearsay tab contains information you can share with the inhabitants of Elsinore Castle. Let's look at our characters for a second. Like, already I'm like five minutes in, and not even five minutes, and <laughs> I'm just so excited to be back with these characters. I love this game's take on Hamlet's characters so much that any other interpretation of them feels wrong in my eyes, even though it's a play and interpretation is what it's all about. <laughs> but let's read some character bios. Ophelia, that's me. As a child of a duke, I have some small amount of standing. 
but as a daughter I can inherit nothing. I've lived here at the castle all my life. Sometimes I dream about leaving, but where would I go, and what kind of life would I have? Everything I know about the world lies within Elsinore's walls. Polonius, Chamberlain, Duke of Denmark, my father. Polonius is my father and the king's advisor. He can be a bit addle-brained at times, and he loves to talk, a lot, but he really just likes being around people, I think. He always means well. And he's been an attentive father to my brother Laertes and me, sometimes a little too attentive. It can be stifling. So yeah, we play as Ophelia, who is, oh, Hamlet's ex-girlfriend in the, in the original play, who, um, in the original play, goes mad after the death of her father and drowns in an apparent suicide. Um, it, things go a little differently here, as you can imagine. Let's ask Horatio about Laertes, I guess. Laertes is trapped in a meeting, but my father wants to speak with him. Ah. Ah, the good and fair Lady Ophelia, shall I compare thee to a summer's day? Mm. Enough with the poetry, Horatio, you flatterer. I was a poet in another life, you know. That was before I was a foot soldier, then a student. Now I'm, what, a professional friend? Yeah, this is Horatio, Hamlet's best friend. That's not a bad life. You've been many things at many times. <sighs> My apologies for the wallowing. You asked about your brother. Court's being held in the Great Hall, I believe. Oh, I suppose you're right. Head there, and I'm certain you'll be able to tear him away. Hmm. You know, back in Florence, there is no sense of lateness. Men arrive precisely when they mean to, and meals are six hours long. I'd be much slower and larger if that were the case here. <laughs> yes, bless Denmark. You Danes are always hurrying somewhere. Horatio now believes that Polonius urgently needs to speak with Laertes. And some other stuff updated. Horatio. Horatio is Hamlet's schoolmate from Wittenberg. From the look of him, he can't be Danish, but I've never known his origin. He served as a soldier in the last war alongside Bernardo, and from the way he carries himself, he must be of noble birth, though exactly how, I'm not sure. He's well-educated and eloquent and always has something interesting to say. Um, Laertes and Prince Hamlet are currently getting permission from the king to leave Denmark. They can be found in the Great Hall. Let's talk to this guy, Marcellus. I'm looking for my overly tardy brother. Have you seen him around? Marcellus. Oh! Marcellus, are you all right? Sorry, Lady Ophelia. You gave me a bit of a spook. Been on edge since last night. <laughs> he talks with this, um phonetic accent that makes me want to go cockney again like I did in Dark Side Detective but that doesn't really make sense because we're in Denmark not England but I'll figure it out just uh, a difficult night's watch you look like you've seen a ghost Marcellus I'm sorry to have troubled you <laughs> been up a little too late playing cards again have we no not at all Irma cleans me out after the last game and I haven't gone back to her for a game since. Besides, some of the other boys thought that maybe, you know, the most senior guard are not to gamble as much. Well, I won't tell if you won't. Try to get some sleep tonight. I'll try, I will. As for your brother, I reckon he's meeting with my lord the king to get formal permission for his trip to Paris. Seems a strange thing to do on the eve of his departure. Well, you know how court formalities are, my lady. I don't make the rules. You'll probably find him in the Great Hall. I see. Very dramatic, Marcellus. <laughs> Just trying to be helpful. Marcellus. Marcellus has faithfully served Elsinore Castle for several generations of royalty and is a passionate advocate of the throne. 
He is likely the oldest living man within its walls. He can be a little foggy at times, but years of practice with the sort have rendered him more capable than he seems. And... Yeah, same information there. Conversation history. Ooh. Let's talk to some more people. My father desires to speak with Laertes. Laertes. If Laertes leaves, this already desolate place will become a lot more dismal. <laughs> Lady Brit's the mean girl in this game, so <laughs> I already knew ahead of time I was going to give her like a valley girl voice. Somehow, I feel this is thoroughly your fault. Mm. How? You could have convinced him to stay, couldn't you? I don't control my brother, or his itinerary for that matter. <laughs> now what will I do? Being a lady-in-waiting is so dismal. Attending to the queen's every little whim, following her from court function to court function. It's tedious, Lady Ophelia. If only I were a sad little half rank girl with no prospects like you, then I'd be excused from this banality. Just tell me where he is, Brit. You see the door to the Great Hall there? Fetch him yourself. I'm not your scullery maid. Perhaps if he's late enough, he won't have to go to Paris after all. No. Unlikely, a French coastal gale is calling his name. Oh, what a divine punishment it is for him to sail off to France, leaving me with the boring sibling. Oh. Sorry to disappoint. Hmm. Alas, can't be helped. You've got disappointment written all over you. Poor little orphan girl. Great. You may be the queen's lady-in-waiting, but I am a lady of the court. Keep your tongue in check. My lady. Oh, I know precisely who you are. She is mean. And let's talk to this person, too. Laertes is meeting with the king, but my father needs him. Irma. Yes. He's in the great hall, then. Have you been in there yet? Oh, God. Irma, is, Irma and the queen are both from Bohemia. So, I feel like Irma should have, like, a German accent, but I don't know how to do one of those. Aye, Micah, what's got your father all in a rush so? Hmm. Laertes heads to Paris tomorrow. I think father's merely overly worried about his departure. <laughs> Is that so? Seems the boy has become a man, all in a flash. It's been so long since I chased him and Hamlet out of my kitchen with a broom. So she's the cook. Then again, probably for the better, my old back can hardly stand that kind of violence. <laughs> they were little terrors once upon a time. I'll miss him. <laughs> the queen asked I have the fruit ready for the evening meal an hour ago, and yet no one here, least of all your brother. My food does not wait for Danes. Danes wait for my food. Yeah. Regita Britt Brockenhouse. Britt is Gertrude's lady-in-waiting. She can be terribly cruel. We've never gotten along since she came to Elsinore three years ago. She is the daughter of the mo one of the most powerful noble families in Denmark, as with most of the people here in Elsinore. Irma is one of the most feared women in Elsinore for her quick temple. She's fiercely devoted to the queen, and originally followed Gertrude from Bohemia, where she and Gertrude were both born and raised. Despite her teeth, I've seen that she has a warm side. She loves to gamble, and she's quite good. I wouldn't make a bet against her for all the world. Now, as you can see, Irma had a little uh, icon over her, her head, which meant that she has an event to get to. This fire is hot, too hot. So she's busy right now. Yeah, this game operates on a clock, which I know can be stressful to some people, but I kind of enjoy it. Are you certain? Prince Fortinbras will not retreat easily. He is hot-headed, 
as his father was. He has a temper, my lord. Bernardo. Are you questioning my ability to provide for Denmark's battle plan when the time comes, Guard Captain Bernardo? Not at all, my lord. Merely suggesting. King Claudius now believes the court the court has been successfully informed. And we got a lot of character bios, and of course we're gonna read those right away. Oh my goodness. The queen is one of the kindest people I've ever met, and her people love her dearly. Gertrude isn't Danish, but married into the throne via her late husband, the King Hamlet. As is traditional, she's remarried to the king's brother after his death. Now she is Claudius' wife. After my mother passed away when I was a child, Gertrude took Laertes and me under her wing. I have been eternally grateful to her for her kindness ever since. Gertrude was born in Austria and is a member of the illustrious Habsburg family. In fact, her father is the Emperor Maximilian I. She's worked incredibly hard to learn Danish and eliminate her accent. I know she has a sister as well who lives outside Denmark. Royal blood runs thick through her veins. Uh, the king... Claudius is the reigning king of Denmark. As the younger brother to King Hamlet, when Hamlet passed away, he inherited the throne. It's hard to get a read on him. He's too formidable for most to talk to directly. He seems comfortable in his power and wields it well, though many find him arrogant and repulsive. Sir Bernardo is Claudius's right-hand man and the most revered soldier in Elsinore. He doesn't say much, but he's been my friend since we were children. He earned his merits as a young soldier in the most recent war with Norway, riding into battle alongside King Hamlet himself. After that, he quickly rose through the ranks to prominence, and he's even got the king's utmost respect. Alright. So, they're all busy, but Hamlet and Laertes are both here. Let's talk to Hamlet first. My father needs to meet with Laertes. Can you give him permission to leave this meeting? Oh, are we on speaking terms now? You were the one who asked me to leave you alone. Hamlet, that's all behind us. I need your help. Please. I am as much a prisoner to this awful meeting as your brother. <laughs> if you know anything, the first thing about Hamlet, the play, is that Hamlet, the character, is very emo and, and grumpy. <laughs> I love him so much. You'll have to talk to someone who has any power over my uncle. My queen mother, for instance. Where is he? Hamlet recently lost his father, the former king, who was also named Hamlet. He used to be very popular among those his age in Elsinore, with a much more cheerful disposition, but he's changed, and not for the better. The Prince of Norway demands we surrender the north. All right, there's some stuff going on there, but let's talk to Laertes. Psst. Have you spoken to Father today? He's in a fit. Laertes. What? Ah, right. I completely forgotten. My mind's on Paris already. Hamlet and I are waiting for an audience with the king, but it's dragging on. Hmm. Won't you speak to the queen, Ophelia? She's fond of you. She can move this meeting along. Right, where is he? Laertes is my brother, set to inherit the title of Duke when my father passes. He's set to travel all of Paris, learning his music and experiencing the world. Meanwhile, I'm here. My brother means well, but sometimes he can be a bit intense. He's quick to anger and even faster to act impulsively. Hamlet hates him half to death, but other than that, he's friends with nearly everyone in Elsinore. Our leads updated. Surely someone at this meeting can intervene on his behalf. That would be the Queen. Oh, we can listen to this. Surrender to Fortinbras? Ha! The balls of a stallion, that young prince. Fortinbras claims the late King Hamlet rests his soul, won those swamplands unjustly from his father. My brother won them for Denmark, certainly, but with all the fairness afforded to war. He can shed all the tears he likes for that swampland. I won't bother to hear his complaints. Yes, my lord. Yes, my lord. We'll send your reply. Dearest, 
Dearest, what will we do if Fortinbras wages war on our lands regardless? We'll fight him head on. He is an impetuous young boy. No more threat than a gadfly to our throne, my love. That's how my brother would have done it. May he rest in peace. Yes. I. Yes, yes, my brother's past. But now is the time for Denmark's new glory. Now is the time for us to expand. With my lovely queen by my side, we'll be a force far beyond anything the northern lands have seen before. Prince Fortinbras will not retreat easily. He is hot-headed, as his father was. He has a temper, my lord. Bernardo. Are you questioning my ability to provide for Denmark's battle plan when the time comes, Guard Captain Bernardo? Not at all, my lord. Merely suggesting. Is this the same? Are we cycling dialogue now? Let's talk to Gertrude. My lady, my father wishes to speak with Laertes as soon as possible. Oh no! Have we run over long? I'm sure Polonius is in an absolute fit. Give me a moment. I'll whisper in my husband's ear. My lord. I tire of this. And besides, I believe young Laertes must meet his father's beckon. <sighs> my wife is right. We've had enough of political affairs for now. Today is a day for celebration, after all. Young Prince Fortinbras grows beyond his leash. We ought to engage not with him, but with his uncle, the true king of Norway. Bernardo, have Voltamon deliver a message to the king with our terms. At once, my lord. He said it for me. Now then. Laertes, Hamlet, please come forward. I've been given word that the both of you wish to have my formal permission to leave Denmark. My king. I want to travel to Paris tomorrow morning that I might learn about the breadth of life's offerings beyond Danish walls. <sighs> and I want to return to Wittenberg because, I agree, these Danish walls are absolutely miserable. Hmm. I have some concerns about each of you. You are yet young men. Laertes, what does your father say? He is worried, my king, but grants his blessing. Then I must concede. Hamlet, on the other hand... Absolutely not. Your mother, the queen, and I would prefer you near to us, Hamlet. You may not go back to Germany. What? What? <laughs> uh, hopefully you can hear. I feel like I turned the volume down a little too much, but... I'll check the recording. <sighs> and see if it's okay. <laughs> the funeral for my brother is two months past, and yet you still wear black. I wear mourning attire while I still mourn my father. Hamlet. The time for that has passed. You ought to think of me as your father now. Your father the king. Nothing has changed. Yes. For your own health, I desire that you stay in Denmark. If that's your wish, uncle. It's pointless. As is customary, I have no choice. I never do. Excellent. All is settled, and with that, let us break a little while. Court is dismissed. <laughs> Thank you, my lord. Thank you. Of course. You are most welcome, Laertes. Swift travels, my boy. Ophelia. Whenever you are done, come meet me outside. I have something I want to tell you before I meet with father. Hamlet is staying. Hamlet wants to avoid King Claudius and Gertrude. Hamlet is staying in Denmark. Hamlet. The boy is determined to hate me. Hmm. He cannot yet understand what lies beyond the veil of youth, dearest. My son. Hamlet is... There is such a darkness within him. I fear it may fester if we allow him to leave us. And what form that festering might take. I fear more. My dear. You've done right by him, I promise. So, you're stuck here? <sighs> yes. While your brother's gallivanting around Paris, I shall be thinking of him fondly from my seat on the chamber pot. 
a lovely hamlet. Elsinore Castle becomes more oppressive each day. Uh. It must be so terribly oppressive being prince. If I didn't know you well enough to tell otherwise, I'd think you were being kind. There are still good things about Denmark Hamlet. My father was one. You were the other. Now both are gone. Hmm. <laughs> Alright. Hamlet becomes upset, but will recover overnight. So what becoming upset means is that you can't talk to them until they feel better. So he's upset. Oh. The queen looks busy. Let us hold back. Please. Maybe you should hold back, but I'm her lady-in-waiting of House Brockenhouse. She can see me whenever I like. Mm. Ha! You think your family name gives you power here? A beautiful face, but an ugly soul. That's all you are. Spare me. And you're an old hag who needs to find a hobby outside the queen's personal life. I bathed the queen and wet-nursed her when she was not more than the size of these two hands. She is like my own flesh and blood. And I'll watch over her until the minute you bury me. Mark my words, Lady Brit. Fool. No lady-in-waiting or beautiful silken dress can replace that bond. <laughs> <laughs> we'll see, hag. And the guards. What? What have you told the king? Nothing yet, naturally. Hmm. Ophelia was asking me questions earlier. Hmm. Well, were you shivering all knock-kneed? Oh. No, of course not. That girl just has a keen sense. All we can do is wait on Hamlet's word. <sighs> Until then, we can merely wait and watch and hope it doesn't return. Oh. Ugh. Ugh, there's so much going on. If I only could dissolve. If it were only that easy to die. God, would you spite me even then? You would, wouldn't you? This is hell. Even though you've brought me nothing but misery in this flat, weary world. And this castle is like an overgrown garden. How we despise it. Hamlet. Hamlet, be at peace. Look at it this way. We'll drink to your health tonight. I and the rest of the guards... We'll drink ourselves silly. How does that sound? Mother. Father gave her everything. Everything. I've never seen a love like it. I've never loved like it. And all too soon my father's dead and she's marrying my uncle less than a month later. Disgusting. She had hardly gone from shedding tears to sharing his bed. Uh... She had to move on, Hamlet. She is the queen. She cannot afford her grief. And your uncle is a suitable match. Hmm. Oh, shut up, Horatio. Frailty and woman are one and the same. <laughs> <laughs> come on, come on, Hamlet. Get him off the floor now. Let's get you to bed, shall we? My thanks. That meeting, we'd been there an hour. You freed me. Eternally grateful. I sense you needed rescuing, even though I know you've been waiting for a return to ordinary affairs. <laughs> it's refreshing, no? After the dark cloud that's descended on Elsinore lately. The last few months certainly have been odd. Agreed. What was it you wanted to discuss, then? You know, Ophelia, I'm going to miss you. And I you, brother. Hamlet. You and Prince Hamlet... You're not anymore. Hamlet and I aren't together anymore, Laertes. I swear it on Mother's grave. Hmm. Has he given you any trouble? Uh. No, he's far more focused on glaring daggles at his uncle Claudius. How long has it been since his father's funeral? A month? Two? And yet he scarcely seems to have recovered. King Hamlet could do no wrong in his son's eyes, I'm certain. No doubt Hamlet's grief has been as overwhelming as of late. And Hamlet hates his uncle for marrying his mother. I see the way he looks at him. His eyes. Like a kicked dog. Angry, fuming, unpredictable. It is both proper and customary that Gertrude married her husband's brother after her husband's death. 
I've no idea why Hamlet's in a fit about it. It has me worried he might take his anger upon you. Take out his anger upon you. There it is. You needn't throw shoes anymore. Throw shoes? You remember when we were small? That one summer when that baroness and her children came to visit Elsinore? You mean those horrible little boys who pushed you down? Yes, and when one of them pulled my hair and said it looked odd. Ah, right. I'd forgotten. I threw my boot at him. Yeah, that's one thing you've probably noticed already, is that Ophelia and Laertes are mixed race. And it's not just an aesthetic thing. They... They draw attention to it and explore the implications of it. I... <laughs> this game is so good, it just... There's so much to love about it. And you've been doing it ever since. Of course. No one pushes my sister around. Well, unless it's me, of course. They won't. That's what I'm telling you. I can fend for myself now, I promise. I'm not that little girl anymore, and I'm not going to let anyone do harm to me. <laughs> I suppose that's true, isn't it? You really have changed. I see something of mother in you now. She could be fierce like that. I likely won't see you before I leave tomorrow, but... Laertes! Laertes! Father. Ah. My son! My son, I believe you still have some things to attend to. Your ship leaves tomorrow morning, after all. You have little time to dally. You're correct. As usual, I've packed nothing at all until the very eve of my departure. Better throw a few of my best doublets in a trunk and call it a night. Farewell. Please get some sleep. You'll need it. I heard what your brother told you about Prince Hamlet. He's right. Prince Hamlet's poison to a young woman like you. And besides that, he's going to inherit the crown some day. It's a delicate situation, that one. I know you loved him once. I'm your father. I see these things. Hmm. I know I ought not to be around him any longer. Ophelia. For another young noblewoman, things might be different. But not so for you. These matters become more difficult for you and Laertes. I'm well aware, father, we both are. But I am no scullery maid. I will be not forced to shrink from him. Uh. No, no, I wouldn't dream of asking that. I merely desire your safety. Yes, father. Of course, I understand, father. Sleep now, Helen. Smart girl. Sweet dreams. Uh. It's late. I really ought to sleep. Get some rest. Go to Ophelia's chambers. All right. This is where I'd seek visitors for a chat. That is, if Father ever allowed me to have any. On occasion, I like to write here. It's been a while since I had the time, though. My dresser, where some of my simpler, simpler garments are kept. I'm partial to this gown, though. Um, we can read this book later. I think it's time to go to sleep. I'd better rest a while. So little happened today, and yet my eyelids are already heavy. Maybe it's all the advice I received.
What a strange dream, yeah. We basically just had visions of everyone Ophelia loves dying. Ugh. I, I feel like I turned the volume down too much. You could barely hear the intense music during that cutscene, but... Ooh, what a way to start. Hello? Is someone there? Ophelia. Hamlet. Is everything all right? No. His death. Uh, I've seen it with my own eyes. Uh, and the traitor is my own blood. And my mother. Oh God, my mother. Worms. Worms and wriggling earth. All I can see is... See is bile and rot everywhere. Hamlet. Stop for a moment. What in the world are you talking about? And why are you in my bedchamber? I... I'm sorry. Sorry. Wait! He looks so peculiar. Something's wrong. Ugh, my head feels strange. That dream seems so real. Okay. Alright, I'm actually gonna pause. Because this game is on a timer, but... Yeah, I think that is... An excellent point to stop at. We are basically at the beginning of the very first loop. Um, so that was our little prologue. Um, yeah, I... I'm already, like, sucked into all the little nuances and character dramas going on. Like, this game has so much to it. It's so juicy and dense and, like, so fun. Like, and I don't remember all the solutions to, like, all the little side plots and puzzles. Uh, so I'll be, you know, just as... just as into this as you hopefully are but yeah i'm really excited to start the series um i hope you hope you enjoy it hope you enjoy my little niche nerdy video game interests um so i have been mars and i will be back with more elsinore